Hi there. Today, I'm taking you 3,500 years back in time. At that time, there was a man called Joshua, who was a great example for me. His story is really exciting. Maybe you've heard the story of when Moses and the Israelites left Egypt? They started a long journey towards a country that God had promised to give them. And God could talk to Moses so that he knew exactly what to do on the way. The people experienced amazing miracles, like when God opened up the Red Sea for them. But strangely, the Israelites always started to complain and doubt God when things started getting hard. Hmm. But Joshua was different. Just like Moses, he was always full of faith in God. Joshua quickly became one of the Israelites' most important warriors. He must have learned a lot from Moses. They set up camp before they came to the land of Canaan. I have chosen you. Twelve strong and brave chieftains to spy out the land of Canaan for forty days. Of course, Joshua was one of the spies, and so was his friend, Caleb. We will find out everything we need to know about the land God has given us. No one was allowed to know why they were there, and they didn't give away their plans to anyone. The land was way better than they thought. It was green, with lots of farms, and plenty of food. They took lots of fruit, and a bunch of grapes that were so big that two men had to carry it between them. It was so fantastic that they said that it is a land that flows with milk and honey. But there was one big challenge in the land. One of the nations that lived there, the Anakim, were much bigger and much taller than anyone the spies had ever seen before. Those people are actually giants! Yeah, those cities are gonna be really hard to take! After 40 days, the spies came back to Moses and told what they had seen. Straight away, the people started doubting that God would help them. They didn't think that they would be able to enter the land. The other spies also started to doubt. No, we can't just attack those people. Yeah, all, all the men we saw there were big and strong. We felt like grasshoppers compared to them. And they probably felt the same. That only made things worse. If only we had died in Egypt! If only we could die here, in the wilderness! Why did God lead us to this land? To fall by the sword and for our wives and children to be taken captive by the enemy? Imagine, suddenly they wanted to go back to Egypt. Joshua, Caleb and Moses knew that it's a sin to doubt God and now the people were doing it again. But Joshua and Caleb were thinking differently. They were in a spirit of faith. Listen, 
God will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord and do not fear the people of the land. They are no more than a piece of bread for us. The Israelites became so angry that they wanted to kill Joshua and Caleb. Then God had to stop the people himself. How long will these people reject me? And how long will they not believe me? With all the signs which I have performed among them. But Moses loved the people of Israel and asked God to forgive them. And because Moses was a faithful man, God decided to listen. God would bring the people into the land, but not without punishment. Because the people of Israel didn't believe, God would let them wander in the wilderness for 40 years before they could enter Canaan. The Israelites should have listened to Joshua and Caleb instead of doubting God. But Joshua held on to his faith and never doubted God's word about the promised land. But we'll hear more about that in the next episode. See ya.